MongoDB is a general purpose database. So people use us for all sorts of different things. Everything from, we have agricultural companies to banks to building um, risk analysis tools in MongoDB. We have the city of Chicago building a predictive analytics um, system where they can actually anticipate where crime or flu outbreaks will happen in the city. The common denominator in all of it though is I've got data that doesn't fit conveniently into a relational database or I'm anticipating that I will have so many different data types that I need to manage that, um, that it's just not going to work to put it in a spreadsheet with rows and columns and pray that nothing changes. 90% of the world's data was created in the last two years. 80% of that data is unstructured and unstructured data is growing at twice the rate of, of structured data. So you need something to manage all of that and uh, more and more companies are turning to MongoDB and other, other things like Hadoop to, to deal with that. And one of the selling points of MongoDB is, is absolute high availability. You can scale out without any downtime. We love working with App Dynamics to help us build on that, improve on that, to provide that insight into what's happening in my database right now, what's, what's likely going to happen to my database right now, and how can I make sure that, that, that my data is always available to the end users. You don't buy a database and just run it by itself. It's always part of, a, of an application, right? One of the critical things is figuring out if something's going wrong, is it going wrong because of the database? Is it going wrong because of uh, something in, uh, elsewhere in the application's infrastructure? And one of the reasons that we wanted to work with AppDynamics is to give our users, our end customers, that holistic view, that, that deep view of, of what's going on in their, in their application. We would like the customer to be able to get to that root cause of the problem sooner rather than later. But we do want to be able to intelligently look, have the customers look at those issues, see where the, see where the problem lies, and then be able to direct their efforts appropriately. And so it's, it's fantastic working with AppDynamics. Just all sorts of different companies for which software has become an essential aspect of what they do. They're trying to reach out and engage their customers through software, whether it's on the web, whether it's in their mobile device that they're carrying around, well, it's causing all sorts of heartburn, first of all, because they're discovering that the data infrastructure that they've been using may not, in fact, probably does not fit. That's why you have companies like Twitter and Facebook and Google that tend to be inventing new kinds of databases, and that's actually how MongoDB was born as well. But the, the bigger thing that's happening is as, this, as software continues eating the world, as software becomes more and more critical to the way Main Street businesses, mainstream businesses do business. The developers who write that software, the line of business executives, as they take on more and more of the load for building and running applications, well, they're taking on more of the responsibility for doing that. And that's where things like where MongoDB and where AppDynamics become critical is because not only are they going to take more ownership of their data, but they're also going to have to take on a bigger load of doing the testing, monitoring, management of those applications. It's a pretty exciting time where this shift, and I think the, the two companies together put enterprises in a great position to be able to go out with confidence to the market, having built these applications, knowing that their applications can scale.